Okay, we're going to go ahead and start this recording. We're going to talk about how to apply beam coping. So what I went ahead and did is I came in and uh, I'm just going to delete this member out. I drew myself in a beam. I uh, went ahead and said I'm going to go from here over to here. Okay, now uh, when I go look at this in 3D, notice that it's not right up against it and I would like that to have some coping to where it actually can come in and maybe it's gonna be welded against that beam, okay? Um, ahead of time, I just went ahead and made a bigger beam right here and a little bit smaller beam right there, okay? So in order to apply coping, what you wanna do is uh, you just need to go up to the, uh, if you select this beam member, it'll get you to the modify tab really fast. Uh, instead of having to go over and hit that, okay? So all you need to do is hit the little drop down, hit the apply coping, and then you select the member that you're going to cope. And then you're gonna go ahead and select the beam that you're coping into. Now, even though you didn't see a whole lot just happen right there, it actually did put a cope to it. Notice that there is like a little tiny bump right there. All right, so let's take a look at that uh, coping. If we come over here into the properties and we look down here, it's got a coping distance of one inch and that's what's kind of creating that large little uh, gap right there. Now I can knock that down as far as one eighth inch. I do not think it'll accept sixteenths. Let's try sixteenths at the smallest and it will not take the sixteenth of an inch. So you want to put that down at a minimum. Uh, the smallest you can do it is an eighth of an inch on your coping distance. Say, okay. And what it's doing is it actually still is trying to hold that cope. Um, you could take your shape handles and pull it in a little bit faster, but the best way to do this is to say, change the reference. So if you notice a little blue line appears saying that that's the surface that it's gonna try and now uh, reference in order to get that coping a little tighter. So I click that and you notice now it's got a nice, nice, nice uh, coping distance on there for me. Okay, so that's the way it should work. Um, other people want to see the way angled members might be done. So I'll just make more of those click once and then I'm going to come at maybe a 15 degree angle and take a look at that in 3D. <clears throat> All right, so that is this member right here. Okay, so you can see it clearly has a gap on it, right? And I've got shadows on just so we can see this a little easier, okay? So uh, you can change its reference. Uh, you can try coping it. Again, hit the drop down, hit apply coping from this one to this one. And let's select the beam and check its coping distance. Yeah, it's pretty far off, so let's say eighth inch. All right, it's complaining, doesn't like it, but we're gonna give it to it anyway. I'm gonna have to use the change reference and see if we can get it to snug that up a little bit better. And sure enough, it did a better job. Also, um, your shape handle still exists, so you could technically keep on pulling that in a little bit more until you feel satisfied that that looks uh, how you um, had uh, hoped it would look. Now, the only thing that you want to do is just be sure that when uh, you pull this up in three dimensions that you have not yet affected anything uh, inappropriately or I'm sorry, in your plan view. Now, if you are in course, of course, it's always going to hold this proper spacing out for you. Uh, if you go into a fine, then you're gonna start seeing that that cope is there and at that angle, okay? This one doesn't have a cope on that side yet, so that's why it still looks the way it used to with that, just that um, end point connection, okay? All right, so always keep in mind, um, if you cannot utilize the cope, um, go ahead and apply your coping, and then after you applied your coping, then go ahead and uh, leverage the uh, change reference. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you are at a uh, course view, then you will not get that tool, obviously. Okay, so I always work in the fine. So click, drop down, apply coping from here to here. Okay. And then obviously it's not enough to get it to pull in there. Uh, it is at an eighth inch already. And so I'm gonna tell it to reference the inside edge. And now you can see it snugged it up within an eighth inch. And I can keep on pulling in this um, shape handle a bit if I wanted it to look a little more tighter in my 3D, okay? All right, guys, that is how you take in, uh, care of coping issues, right?
going to go ahead and stop the recording here.